what is good youtube today as you can see i am dying like normally i do not wear ski masks i don't even know why people wear ski masks especially in the summertime but i'm not a hoodlum it doesn't matter though today we are here to clean my shoes i wore for a video one time but then i accidentally stepped in some grass so Today, I'm gonna teach you guys all how to clean your shoes. I mean, you already know it's the Nike Up Temples. I don't even know why. But as you can see, look at the bottom. That's like 10 steps, 10 steps in dirt. But these are the 2017, I believe. The 2016 Bulls, they're not even called Bulls. The 2016s are called Varsity Reds. But these are the 1996 uh, Bulls 2017. But I believe these are the Scotty Pippins. If I'm not wrong, but you guys can correct me in the comments. Boom. So you're going to get a step-by-step -step on how to clean your shoes, even if you stepped in them for one day. Um, This is not a really good example. I don't think any of my shoes are a good example, but I'm going to try my best to clean these shoes for you. I'm going to find the most. Oh, look. That's dirty. We got to clean it. We got to clean it. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to get a cup. For this shoe cleaning video, I'm going to do a DIY. I'm going to use the stuff around my house, and I'm going to clean it. So it's easier for you, the viewers, to clean your shoes instead of going to get some shoe cleaners that's probably, like, in a small bottle, and you have, like, two chances to use it. $59.99. The door. Once you get the cup, you want to start off with some water. Not that much, though. Look. And stop because you're you're just making a solution. The water is literally just for the solution. I'm not sure how many people have hydrogen peroxide in their house, but this was I don't even know why it was in the bathroom, but I found it in the bathroom. So I'm gonna be using this only a little bit. So basically, the hydrogen peroxide, what it does is it yeah, your shoes. It it does that to your shoes. Next thing, we have Windex. I know everybody has Windex. Well, hopefully everybody has Windex. But only a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of Windex. And then afterwards, you want to bring out the toothpaste. For the toothpaste, right, you don't need that much for the toothpaste, honestly. Just want a little bit of... Boop. Ew. When it comes to shoe cleaning, everybody has like a little bit of sauce that they add personally for themselves right so my sauce is this okay look i was gonna use baking soda yeah but i couldn't find it so i'm stuck with this i don't think i should be inhaling this i really want to smell it though i don't know why it doesn't smell like anything okay so we're gonna add just a little bit just a little bit look boom just a little bit just a little bit of the secret sauce now what you want to do is look i can't show you the mixture they tell you that you have to have one of them like hard surfaces hard surface brushes and stuff like that but i don't have that chat i don't have a hard surface brush nor a soft surface brush i have a toothbrush so with this toothbrush you're gonna want to mix it so normally Normally you want to take off the shoelaces and whatnot, but look at this. Who is lacing this back up? I am not lacing that back up. I'm going to leave it just like this, but I will tuck these in, but I'm still going to teach you how to clean it. We're just going to have to go around. Let's say, for example, my shoes were creased, right? And you don't have, you don't have one of them shoe things because you happen to throw it away once you got the shoe box like me. What you want to do in exchange is get a shirt. Get a shirt, any type of shirt, it doesn't matter. You want to take the shirt, roll it in the ball, I'm like this. Take the ball, open this, and then just insert it in it. I would push it in further, but it's not creased, so I'm just gonna, I'm just showing you what you would be doing. Now, you take your solution, right? Look at this. And then you want to not gently, but surely. No, just gently. Look, as you can see, the shoe is dirty. This part right here on my shoe is white. This one is dirty. Look. White, 
brown. But with this magical solution, ShamWow can never make a better solution than this. It comes with a scrub. And then after you scrub, only for 30 seconds. You only need a 30 second scrub. You don't need to scrub any more than that. But I'm not counting in my head, so I'm probably scrubbing for longer than 30 seconds right now. Look, chat. Look, this is what I call ASMR. <laughs> That's not ASMR. Look. I know y'all see the difference. I know y'all see the difference. Look at that. Beautiful cleaning solution. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, let me show you how the shoe again. Now y'all see the big difference, right? And that was from the shoe cleaner alone. Let me show you a big difference. Boom. Bottom of my shoes. Horrendous. It looks like I stepped in a pile of mud. And on top of that, I did a backflip on... I don't even know what I did. But it's dirty. So let's clean it up. I can't show y'all and clean at the same time. But I will try my best. I will try my best, chat. Look. For the bottom piece, the technique you want to use is... You see how this one goes this way? And this one goes this way, obviously. You want to start scrubbing in this general direction. If you do this, you're cooked. You're absolutely cooked. As you can see right here, this is a piece of rock in my shoe. We don't want a rock in our shoe now, do we, chat? No, we don't. So we remove this piece of rock with the back piece of the brush that we have. And this is why I don't have them soft and hard brushes because they would not be doing the trick. So now, look chat, boom. Now for the reveal. For the reveal, hold on. How do I do this reveal? Oof, look at this. Look at this. Look at this chat, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Go ahead, chat. Go ahead, chat. Lie and say I didn't see a difference. Lie and say I don't see a difference. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Lie and say I don't see a difference. Go ahead. See, as you can see, there is a big difference in my shoes. Look at that. If y'all don't believe me. If y'all do not believe me, look. Look, chat. Look. Tell me you don't see a difference in the shoes. Like... So chat, as you know, everybody has some sauce. I'm going to gatekeep this sauce because, yo chat, I would be gatekeeping the sauce for me out, but you know, I love y'all too much, so I'm not going to gatekeep the sauce. Look, boom, it is actually surface preparation cleaner. Who would have thought, who would have thought surface cleaner was the final solution to make this go to this? Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Tell me you don't see the difference. Tell me you don't see the difference. This, I will go out and wear again. These, if somebody saw my shoes and I'm wearing these, I'm cooked, chat. I know you guys can feel the difference on the other side of this video. I know y'all can. I know y'all can. And, and if you guys want to use my sauce, go ahead. It does not matter. I just wanted to show you guys my process on how I keep my shoes pristine. But... If you guys want any tips and tricks or you guys want to see how I clean other shoes, well, dirtier shoes, I'm going to try to find some dirty shoes. And then I'm going to bring do a way better video. I'm going to do a way better video next time. I really feel like I'm going to become a sneakerhead now. I'm going to collect up temples and then other sneakers. But I'm going to become a sneakerhead. I'm going to collect all the shoes I can collect. Sometimes I'm only going to collect them to clean them. Because I don't know why, but cleaning is therapeutic to me. So, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys next time. Love y'all all. Stay safe.